Greetings. This is an earthquake watch for February 8, 9 and 10. It's been a fairly quiet month in terms of earthquakes. We did receive a 6.4 in the Myanmar Indian border region back on February 4. Later on that day and early February 5, a significant geomagnetic storm was reported. And I do believe that the significance of this presents a potential of a 7 plus earthquake during this watch. The KP index picked up a significant geomagnetic storm or solar disturbance late February 4. We are still seeing the after effects of this with very high solar winds. They are currently at 450 kilometers a second. Okay, we're looking at the stereo ahead moving imagery and we can get to see a significant filament eruption occurred at this time. So this appears to be the cause of the geomagnetic disturbance and high solar winds. So this is a fairly strong filament eruption that occurred in the high northern hemisphere region of the solar corona. The X-ray flux monitor is showing minimal activities. However, the last 20 hours or so we are seeing um, a bit of activity in the lower band and I do believe that there is a small potential of a volcanic eruption during this watch. Okay, we're well looking at the composite imagery with the SDO. We get to see two significant coronal holes that are just turning limb and we do see a fairly powerful one in the northern hemisphere in and around the dangerous 28 degree region and a very powerful coronal hole that's turning limb in the southern hemisphere which may play a significant role in this watch. Um, I am concerned with this uh, coronal hole. It does look quite um, deep and dangerous. Now there's also a few little holes in and around the equator and below that may present a 6 to 6.5 earthquake over the next day or two and I'll map these also. Okay we're looking at solar monitor and we're looking at a considerable coronal hole in the southern hemisphere and one above. We'll look at that in a moment. The first area of watch would be in and around the equator region there is a fairly interesting coronal hole that's opened up and also at around about 10 to 12 degrees south latitude that's also opened up and the main coronal hole that I've been looking at for the next day or two seems to have closed up rapidly so this may be the area of concern over the next day or two I'll map this shortly. This is a very large coronal hole um, the very dangerous one which would be the main focus of this watch and we also have a very powerful coronal hole up above the northern hemisphere and I'll also map this now. Okay, we're looking at Google Earth now and mapping the first coronal hole which is about 18 to 20 degrees south latitude. I do feel that Bolivia and Chile would be the number one risk for a 6.2 or 6.5 earthquake. The second area of concern will be the Paton de la Fournaise volcano which is located in the Reunion Islands and I do feel that there is a potential of an activation of this dangerous volcano. And my third and final area of concern would be in and around the Vanuatu and Fiji regions and this does fit um, a little bit more accurately and this is quite dangerous. We do have a tropical cyclone formation also from the Tonga region heading down towards New Zealand which may play a little bit of a role in the higher swells which may create or cause um, further stress on the ocean floor and tectonic plates. Okay, we're looking at the MTSAT imagery from NOAA. We get to have a closer look at this potential tropical cyclone formation. Now, this is moving from the Tongan region down towards the top part of New Zealand. Now, there is a likelihood that the high pressure system underneath will actually swing this um, in a more upward direction. So, there is a, a small chance that um, this could actually um, increase a likelihood of an earthquake over the next day or so. Okay, I'm going to be using Google Earth now to plot and map some symmetry with the coronal holes to Earth to find the possible location of this 7 plus earthquake. I do feel that the number one area at risk for this 7 plus event could be in the Dominican Republic or Puerto Rico region. My second area of concern would be the Volcano Islands as the symmetry is quite good with the actual size and shape of the coronal hole and my final area would be the Taiwan region so these would be the main areas of concern we may receive an increase in activity in the Hawaii region most notably Mount Kilauea so it may be activated uh, during this watch okay back to solar monitor again and we're going to be focusing in on the very dangerous coronal hole in the southern hemisphere now and the potential areas that could be in play 
I have two areas that I've targeted in the southern hemisphere and they are Chile and New Zealand. I do believe that Bio Bio Chile would be the most likely area for a large earthquake as it does fit into the dangerous 34 and 37 degrees south latitude point. The North Island of New Zealand also does fit in the same area and I feel that there is a likelihood of a large earthquake above the North Island of New Zealand or perhaps a reactivation of a volcano in the Kermatic Islands down towards the New Zealand region. So that will be my earthquake watch for today. I will leave some planetary alignment information for February 7 in the description box for anyone that's interested. There is an alignment associated with the initial part of this earthquake watch. Annotations will be added during the video and also at the end. Thanks for watching.